Next, we got Ralphie May. $97 salad. <laughs> Ready for this one? Yeah. If you're new to the channel, forget to comment, subscribe, thumbs up. Slap that red button. Sound like an expensive salad to me, man. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I've never paid that much for a salad. Even with meat, man. Yeah. You can even put meat in the salad. Don't cost that much. Mm -mm. <laughs> All right, let's see where he's getting the salad from. Let's go. <laughs> I was doing this joke in Orange County, California, about a month and a half ago. And when I did it, uh, a white lady stood up and said, we have to get rid of all those Mexicans. They're ruining our country. <laughs> and I was just amazed at her racism, you know. And, and it's weird coming from somebody from the South, you know. You'd expect I'd have heard outbursts like that before in my life. But in the South, you know, I mean, I was born in Chattanooga, Tennessee, raised up in a little town in Arkansas called Clarksville and moved to Texas when I was 18. I mean, I'm, I'm Southern as it gets, okay? And <laughs> gets. I've never heard racial bile spilled like this. At least in the South, we have the good graces and the decorum to whisper our racial slurs, <laughs> you know? And you don't know this about me, but I grew up uh, spending my summers in a little town even smaller than my hometown in South Arkansas called Delight, okay? And it's where my grandfather, A.D. May, had his farm. And it was a beef cattle farm, and in his older age, it didn't have that big a herd, but he thought that the neighbors were taking cattle and replacing the tags. And so he went back to Brandon, old school Brandon. And my brother, being nearly six years my senior, had no problem flipping this cattle on their ass, and my grandfather, hold, you know, he hold them down and lay that brand on them. Me, I was a dumpy 11-year-old that I held on. That's all I did, okay? <laughs> I held on, and hopefully the cow would trip over my uh, dumpy ass, okay, and fall <laughs> down. Right? But that day was a hard day for me. I got beat up by cattle, okay? I mean, beat the hell, drug through cow flop, hot, oh, hot no. cow crap. I mean, Ooh. hot Hot, Ooh. way warm. Well, you think cold is bad? Cold's not nearly as bad as hot. Hot is way worse. Oh, man. Pee, everything, and got kicked in the goddamn head. I don't know how many times. All right. By the way, after a day like that, when your grandfather has to hose you off in the yard for you can even come into the house, okay? All right. Nothing tastes better than a cheeseburger because you're angry as hell. Okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> he got back. He's eating that cheese. Yo, oh, that yeah. is, you want to drag me through the freaking... <laughs> that is insane. I got your brother and your cousin right here, mixed all in one. All blended up. Oh, man, oh, I bet you that man. was good, though. Fresh meat <laughs> Revenge is always good. Revenge tastes delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can even come into the house, okay? All right? Nothing tastes better than a cheeseburger, because you're angry as hell. Okay? <laughs> Son of a bitch, you All right? That's but crazy. my grandfather taught me how to drag them down. What you got to do is let them run past you a little bit and then grab the, either on their ear or the little nubbin horn and push down. And when that turns their head, you pull their head up like this and, and they either have the choice of getting their neck broke or going with you. And their own momentum, if you just fall back, will sling you up on them and they'll be laying there on the ground. <laughs> and that's what I had to do to that lady. <laughs> I had to uh, let that bitch run past me a little bit, then snatch her ass up. So I was like, ma'am, I'm with you. Let's, let's get rid of them Mexicans. I'll buy the gas for the bus, just as soon as you can tell me who's going to pick our fruits and vegetables. Mexicans? She goes, excuse me? Uh, well, ma'am, see, 99% of our produce comes to market through Latino hands. Without them, uh, we have no fruits or vegetables in our grocery stores. Not mine, I get mine at Whole Foods. <laughs> you are adorable. Okay, listen, dummy. Um, they might have hippies out front at the Whole Foods, but everybody doing the real work are the Mexicans out back, okay? But you're right, ma'am, all the Mexicans at Whole Foods are 100% organic, and that's what matters. <laughs> so, <laughs> then this racist was like, We'll get a machine to do it. And I'm like, well, ma'am, you know, not for nothing, for all of our technology, our satellite phones and TVs and everything, we've 
Never been able to vent a machine that knows which tomato to pick and which one to leave hanging, which <laughs> grape to cut and which one to leave on the vine. <laughs> the machine we invented was Mexicans. <laughs> and they're perfect. Thank you. They're generally shorter. Uh, they have, uh, there's generally shorter stature. That means they have less. Okay, all right, because I feel it already. People are going, that's a dick move, Ralphie. All right. Okay, all right, watch. Okay. Um, I am five foot nine and a half, okay? Average American male height is five foot eight inches, okay? Watch as I attempt to pick low lying fruits and vegetables, okay? Watch. Hi. See, I had to bring my back to a nearly 90 degree angle. Over the course of the day, that would make for extreme amounts of lower back pain and fatigue, going. making me A, a very poor employee, okay? Now, watch as the average Mexican national attempts the same thing. perfect sense, right? Yeah, it does make perfect sense because oh when it comes to the refrigerator, I get everything out the freezer, she gets everything out the bottom cabinet, bro. She gets everything out the bottom drawer. So actually, that's where usually the fruits and vegetables normally do go because that's where she puts them all. <laughs> so I'm like, I need an apple, I need this. She's down at the bottom, she's getting them. You know what I mean? So I don't have to bend over. And then she doesn't have to get a stool. So it works both ways. You know what I mean? And she doesn't have to stretch too much, you know? Because sometimes if she stretches too much, I get nervous that she's going to fall off the stool. <laughs> you literally so, have a Mexican picking your fruits and vegetables. I just I <laughs> And see, with these hands, they must be efficient. They must work really fast because she has to, for every one or two I can grab in my hand, she grabs maybe half. <laughs> She needs to use both hands for that one. You know, I can pick two. <laughs> Let's go. Watch as the average Mexican national attempts the same thing. <laughs> Perfect sense, right? Perfect sense. Yeah. They're awesome. Then she goes, we'll get white people to do it. And I'm like, man, why do you think the Mexicans are here now? Because we can't get white people to do it, okay? Yeah, no. But let's just go with your premise, okay? First of all, are you native Californians? She goes, yes, I am, okay. And is that your son with you? Yes, it is. And I'm like, well, ma'am, that boy is allergic to work, okay? <laughs> He's never had to work hard, okay? Uh, with his little cool little Justin Bieber haircut and his flip-flops and his skate park pass. He's adorable, but... He's never really worked, okay? He doesn't know hard work, okay? Hard physical labor. He lasts an hour working like a Mexican, okay? <laughs> if you could even get him out there to do it. You know, he's too busy doing this. Ooh. Okay? All right? That boy is allergic to work, okay? That's all you can say. It's the truth, all right? Plus, you've never known a time without Mexican labor. This is California. A ton of people. California was chock full of Mexicans back when it was called Mexico, okay? <laughs> That's something we all forget is that there's a lot of Mexicans that never crossed the border. The border crossed them. All right? They're like, I guess we stay. Okay? <laughs> so I'm like, ma'am, it just doesn't make any sense. You know, you're just dumb. Okay? You, okay, let's say we could get white people to do it. What would it cost you? $30 an hour to get white people to work like Mexicans? Probably more. And then there's other costs along with it, like, Free sunblock. How much money are you going to spend in sunblock with white people? You get somebody as pale as me or this fat guy or that white dude, okay, out there in the field with that much direct light, we'll blow up, okay? <laughs> Boom! What happened to Bob? He wasn't wearing his damn SPFs. That's what happened to Bob. Change the sign. Zero days since last accident. Look, you sons of bitches. You either wear your sunblock or you come out here in a beekeeper outfit, okay? I'm not gonna have OSHA crawl out my ass for this crap because you sons of bitches won't wear your goddamn sunblock, you hear me? <laughs> Plus, white people are lazy. White people, we invented the three-day weekend. That's how lazy we are. <laughs> it's the truth. Nobody wants to admit it. How white people are, no, we're not lazy. Ah, oh, come on, stop. <laughs> Really? Okay, President's Day? Really? Does anyone sit around and wonder about the Taft administration on President's Day? <laughs> no. No. Memorial Day? Mexicans don't know about, about Memorial Day. That's a Monday to a Mexican. That's a work day. We got to work on Monday, make money. 
All right? Uh, Labor Day is the biggest crock of crap of all time. Okay, in honor of everyone that's working, we're not going to. You see what I'm saying? It just doesn't make any sense. And 4th of July, that's just between the 3rd and the 5th of July for Mexican, okay? All right, one day for Mexicans, Cinco de Mayo. You better have cold beer on May 5th. But that's one day as opposed to 23 for white people. That's nearly a full month of added productivity you're going to get out of a Mexican national that you can never get out of a white American. Do you understand? Okay, let's put it in basic terms. If white people pick your fruits and vegetables, your salad's going to cost $97. You want a cheeseburger? Three fifty. You want pickles on it? Twelve bucks. Damn! Those magic pickles? What the hell is going on? <laughs> and then this white lady goes, I guess we'll get somebody else. And I'm like, who, ma'am? Who? Who? I, I don't know. I guess black people. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> I see some black guys about to stand up. Hold on, playboys. I got this, okay? Don't worry about it, okay? I was like... Ma'am, if you think you're getting black people back in the same fields they got out of 150 years ago, you are smoking crack, okay? I hate to break it to you, but you can't get a black man to go into a big backyard and pick a movie, much less a fruit or a vegetable. Am I lying or am I dying? You retarded. You are dumb. Just dumb. That plastic surgery done gone to your head, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, I ain't gonna lie. I see why y'all wanted us to see this. Now I see I how see. much more valuable you are to this country. I apologize. Thank you. My apologies. Thank you. I've been trying to say. <laughs> you are so valuable with your little tiny little hands and your little self. <laughs> you just adorable. Yes, I am. <laughs> now I get the $97 salad. It makes sense. Yes. That's why they subcontract their work everywhere around the world because <laughs> we spoiled, want them bannies, man. Spoiled Americans. We are. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's what make the world go around. That being said, what did you think? That was hilarious. You think he was on point with the Mexican joke? I love y'all. I thought that was hilarious. Now we get why y'all wanted yeah. us to do this. This was hilarious. every freaking other comment, $97 salad, $97 salad. Y'all yeah. gotta do it. Y'all gotta do it. It, it, it. This made sense. <laughs> it made a lot of sense. That being said, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to comment, subscribe, thumbs up, slap that red button.